for me, my life is not the same without ballet. Um, I, don't, I don't even know how to picture my life without ballet. Santa Monica native Joy Womack's life goal was accomplished this past summer when she became the first American woman to be accepted into the world famous Bolshoi Ballet in Russia. And I feel not only a huge sense of responsibility, but I also don't want to take one moment for granted. The 18 year old practices eight to 10 hours a day in Moscow, six days a week through sickness, even broken bones. It's a company where there's been incredible dancers who they worked through 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 wars. They were still, you know, the Bolshe was still dancing during World War II. Um, and so if I have the sniffles, you know, that doesn't really give me like, oh, okay, all right, I'm not going to dance anymore. Womack was given special permission to come back to Santa Monica to perform in this weekend's Nutcracker. Her mentor and former teacher at the West Side School of Ballet, Yvonne Mouncey, asked her to dance as the Sugar Plum Fairy as she lay dying of cancer this summer. So for me, it was really important, um, sort of as a last gift and sort of as a thank you to her for everything that she's done. And for Womack, performing gives her a gift as well. That feeling of when the orchestra starts to play and the curtain rises, and those three, four minutes that where you're on stage, nobody can touch you, nothing can happen, it's just you uh, and the audience. When Womack returns to Russia, she'll debut as a Bolshoi soloist in a New Year's Eve performance. If I could encourage one little girl in the audience to you know, start ballet or to keep working, then that's, that's it. That's it for me. The Nutcracker runs this Friday through Sunday at the Wadsworth Theater in West LA. Tickets are still available. In Santa Monica, I'm Christine Lazar, CBS2 News.